M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. Zygu G90, we're just doing the firmware on the LCD unit and I want to show you it again because it's quite crucial you do this correctly. So when you download the firmware from Zygu, I'll put the link in the description of course, but there it is there and you choose the firmware that suits you. Okay, just download that. You'll get three files, but the main one you want is the update tool which is called something like Terra term yeah and then the actual firmware if I double click the firmware you'll see that within the firmware you've got the display unit which is the head unit and then you've got the main unit which is the back unit okay just remember that I'll just minimize that for now so then open the, the program called Terra term you just clicked it there a little yellow square you get two windows so turn off your radio completely Leave the power supply turned on, but unplug the power cable from the back of the radio. So you've double clicked and you've got this yellow folder here. You've plugged your cable into the right hand side where my finger is there. And it's the cable for firmware that comes in the box normally, but you can buy them. Uh, you've got these two windows just on your COM ports at the bottom. Select your little window square, right click and go device manager and just check that your COM port, double click where it says ports here, just ports, and you should have this USB serial port. Click it, right click it, and then go to properties. Once you're in properties, go across to port settings, just make sure it's on 115200, okay? Close that and close the port window. Now here you, with this first box, go to serial, and find that COM port, which was 38 on mine. COM port, there you are, serial COM port. Click OK. Now on the la on this black window, you're going to go set up at the top and go down to serial port. Serial port. And then you've got 38 selected, hopefully. And then just change that to 115200 and then click new setting, okay? And that is now ready for you. The last bit is loading the actual firmware. So remember at the moment the radio is turned off, but the power supply is on. We're gonna plug in the cable, power cable to the radio. Remember we're just doing the head unit now, not the rear unit. We've got our cable in the radio and what we're gonna do is turn it on, but we're going to hold down the volume and then press number one on our computer keyboard. So let's do that. We're going to power, hold down the finger on the volume, power it on. Fingers, I'm holding down on the volume, <laughs> powering it on, and then I'm going to press number one. As soon as you get it right, it will, there, I'll just press number one again. Come on then, number one. When you get it right, it will start to erase. There it goes. Once you've got to that point, then you can go File, down to Transfer, X Modem, Send, and the really stupidly important thing is make sure you tick the 1K thing here and select the cor correct one. You want the display unit if you're doing the display unit. Click that, double click it, and there, the firmware is now gonna go in. And if you've done this correctly, at the end of the firmware the radio will come on and I will um, hopefully you've done your the back unit correctly as well and this process is the same for any firmware that you've got so let's just let it come on we've got the Zegu display there and that's it we can tune through ETC Job done. Thanks for watching my channel and remember to hit that 1K. Bye for now. M0FXB, let's have a go at the firmware on the rear unit of our Zygu G90. So first thing we'll do is just turn it off. So if it was on, turn it off using the front display. So you turn it off and then leave the power supply on but pull the power cable out of the back of the radio, okay? Open up the program that's called Terra Term, which looks like this. You get two windows, as you can see. 
plug your cable into the back of the radio where it says com it's the orange one and the other end into your PC of course and go to your PC just right click on device manager at the window squares at the bottom device manager and you want to be looking for your com port double click ports it says com 38 there USB click it right click it then go properties right click properties then go across to port settings and make sure this is 115 200 and then click OK then close that window okay now go to the serial connection here like so and drop down and select COM38 click OK now in this you lose one window and you get this window so the at the moment the radio is disconnected from the power but the cable is in the PC the power supply is on so what we're going to do now is go set up serial port and then here we're going to just going to select 115 200 and com 38 and click new setting when we do this the window will vanish okay so everything's set and ready now it's just the last bit to get it into firmware mode and make it send okay the power is going to the radio we're gonna turn it on and then push the number one key make sure you've selected your terraform window otherwise it won't know you've pushed it so we're just gonna turn it on and push one turn it on and then one you have to be quite quick see that turn it off let's try again turn it on one there you are and it see that it started to go erasing and then it waits for the file you go file transfer x modem send now remember massively remember you've got to press 1k if you don't it won't work then go main unit and then you can double click it and it will it's now sending the firmware to the main unit and you can see the head unit is saying com lost then watch the rest of the video to do the, the head unit. Just let that go all the way. And that's your firmware process. All the links will be in the description. The key thing to remember, key thing to remember is hitting that 1K and also clicking. I've already done the head unit, by the way, but clicking the the black window to make sure that it knows when you are selecting items bye for now